Hi friends, now we are going to learn some new stuff, okay, is, uh, well, it may not be new for you, but it's new for me, okay, so I just want to share my knowledge, limited knowledge I have, okay, so if you, if this is an CDS view that I have created, and if you go here and click open with, I like that thing where it says the dependency analyzer, okay, so if you click on this uh, with the dependency analyzer, here basically it tells you what are the different tables that are you, you you are using it so first thing if you see these are the different tables in a short way you can find what are the different tables that are you using and you can take a screenshot and uh, or you can probably can you explore it export it as a csv you know this is very helpful where because what what happens is sometimes you want to uh, give give some uh, you know interface data that you need to load for the cds views and these are the things that you really want and you can get it so pretty easily you can see i will try to do another one so probably this was oda7 zst11 uh, so i'll try to do another one so in the meantime it opens oops uh, this is another one which is a different and if i click right click on it simple and if you go to open with and what we what you have to do is just click on dependency analyzer and this will open another this will open this and it this will tell you what are the differences see here in this case i'm using two uh, cds views that has already been created and i'm using these things these are the things that are already there inside those cds views so this is very helpful and it really helps a lot from from your perspective and if you want to see the graphical view also you know um if you want to see the graphical view so let me see if i go into the graphical view of this one you can always go to open with and the graphical editor and that one you can paste it uh, here and you can understand what are the things that are being called so whenever this is column used in expression expression means where it's being compared or used in a where clause and these ones are in the output okay and this is also used in an expression these anything which is like these these are the key fields and this is the not key fields okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap learning uh, and sap channel and if you like it share and subscribe to it because there's new things learning every every day and hope you like this uh, video thanks and have a great day